Hi there, this is Melissa from Payroll Vault, and I wanted to give you some instructions on how to import the IIF files your payroll processor sends you in order to import your payroll information into your QuickBooks. Your payroll processor will send you an email with two attached IIF files. One will have a document naming PRD with the date, and there will be another document that says PRS with a date. <clears throat> it's important to take these documents and download them to your desktop. You will just need to double click on them and save them to your desktop. <clears throat> Once you've saved both files, you can go to your QuickBooks file that you have open. <clears throat> When you have your QuickBooks file open, you can import these two different IIF files. To import these files, you will want to go to File on your top toolbar. Then you will want to scroll down to where it says Utilities. Then use the Import function and it's IIF files. Once you select that, you will have to scroll out to make sure it looks in your desktop. Because I have imported from my desktop last time, it automatically went to your desktop. If it doesn't go to your desktop, you can always use the down arrow key to try to navigate to get to your desktop. You will have to import each, um, each IIF file separately. I will First, click on the one labeled PRD, and it will give you instructions that the data has been imported, and you can click on OK. Then you'll need to import the other file. It's important to make sure you don't import the file again or you'll just get the same data downloaded again. So the last time I did the PRD file. I'm going to do the PRS this time. Sometimes you get error messages if you have your data pointing to any sort of payroll liabilities account, but you can just say yes, that you do still want to save the journal entry. Now your information has been imported. Often we have your payroll activity going to an account that is not your checking account. So we recommend that you put in the entries that come off of your payroll report showing the net pay and have it go to the account that you've set up for payroll clearing. Typically we put in three different entries, one for the net pay, one for the payroll tax impound, that will go to the paychecks account as well and then our processing fee gets entered in our banking account and it just goes against your payroll processing fee. If you have any questions or concerns, if you have any questions or concerns, please make sure to reach out to your dedicated payroll specialist. We here at Payroll Vault are ready to help you and we want to make your accounting and payroll easier. So give us a call or give